Hi guys, Kev here again with another product information video. So today we're going to be talking about one of our uh, most well-known products and one of our favourites. It's a long time uh, feature here at Autobrat Direct and that is Cherry Glaze. Now Cherry Glaze recently went through uh, a redesign and a redevelopment. Um, it's new and improved. So Cherry Glaze is an all-in-one. So what that means is it contains a polish, a glaze and a wax. So the polish will help to restore the paintwork. So if you've got some light oxidation, or you want to remove things like water spots, um, that's what the, the polish element of this will do. The glaze will help to fill minor swirls and defects. So if you've got a few minor swirls or the paint is looking a little bit tired, again, the glaze will help to fill and reduce some of those. And it's also got a wax in it as well, so it does provide some protection. Now, all these all-in-one style products, the wax that this contains, it's not going to be a long-term wax. It lasts around about four to six weeks. However, if you want something that you can apply to your car really quickly, um, this is definitely one to consider. Now, it's water-based product, so unlike some polishes and glazes, it doesn't mark um, unpainted plastics, it doesn't dry to leave a chalky or a dusty residue, so you won't get any dust in the door shuts, and it's not difficult to work with or difficult to remove. Now, you don't need a lot of this product. Um, when we do the demonstration, I think you'll be surprised at how much product you actually use, but it is one of those products where to do an average size car, it takes around about 10 to 15 minutes. You can do the whole car in one go. If you're working outside in direct sunlight, you may want to do three or four panels and then remove it, but we've never had any issues with uh, applying cherry glaze or removing it in any type of conditions or any type of weather. So for applying cherry glaze, there's a couple of different applicators that you can use. So we've got obviously, you've got the muscle, which is a microfiber applicator. If you've got those, they're perfectly fine with cherry glaze. You've got the standard um, AD branded round foam applicators, again, five cherry glaze and all your other waxes and sealants. Um, my recommendation would be our knuckle duster. So the reason that I recommend this for use with cherry glaze is you've got two sides with this applicator. One's a harder side, one's a softer side. Softer side's really good if you're just using this product for the glaze and the wax element. The harder side is good if you're using it to try and polish the paintwork as well. So we'll go through to the bay and uh, we'll give you a demonstration on how to use cherry glaze. Okay, so thanks for joining me in the bay. Um, we're going to use this mini as a test vehicle. So I'm going to show you the application method for cherry glaze and the various different surfaces that it can be used on. So as I said earlier, um, I would normally recommend one of our knuckle duster applicators. The reason being is on this particular vehicle, it's not been decontaminated, it's just been washed, so there is a lot of heavy contamination on this. So by using the red side of this applicator, it will help the abrasives to remove some of that contamination. Now it's not going to remove as much as a physical decontamination would with a clay bar, um, but it will remove a little bit of that and just help us cut through some of that contamination. So when we're applying cherry glaze, uh, a bottle of this sort of size, you should get around about 50 or 60 applications out of one of these bottles. You only need to apply a really small amount. So I'm going to go with something like a pea size amount, like that. Okay, when we're going to start applying it, I'm just going to spread it out a little bit over the area I'm going to work. And then I'm going to start application. I'm going to use circular motions with light amount of pressure. Um, as you can hear, there's a little bit of resistance there, um, just due to the fact that, like I say, we haven't decontaminated this vehicle. Um, it's actually starting to reduce the resistance, so I'm, I'm losing the uh, losing a little bit of a squeak now. Um, you could also pre-wet uh, the applicator, so you could spray a little bit of uh, water-based product like a berry blast on there if you wanted to reduce the uh, reduce the friction a little bit as well, uh, or you could just decontaminate it and then use it on uh, nice and smooth paint. So that one spot that I've got there, it's very difficult to show on camera, but that one spot should do, on a car like this, probably the entire bonnet. Now, I've worked that across that side. So what you can do is, if you get to the point where you've actually, the applicator's getting a little bit dry, you come back to the original section where you started, because there's probably an excess amount of product there, due to that being the bit where you started. So you can pick a little bit more product up, and then you can then go and spread it a little bit further across the bonnet. Now again, on a car like this, Due to the fact it's not been decontaminated, I may be tempted to put a little bit more on just to uh, to aid in the polishing process. As you can see, it's starting to uh, drag a little bit there, so I'm going to just apply a little bit more. Um, but on a car that's been decontaminated, you won't have that issue, and this will easily spread 
uh, over the entire bonnet. So we can also use the abrasives and cherry glaze to remove things like water spotting from the paintwork. Now, because cherry glaze has got a light abrasive, this will only really work on relatively fresh water spots. If you've been on there for a few months, you will want something more uh, aggressive, like something like Enrich. However, for relatively fresh water marks, a little bit of pressure. Obviously making sure you've got a, a clean applicator as well. You don't be applying pressure to uh, the paintwork if you've got an applicator that's got any contamination in it. And it should remove them nicely. Okay, so I can now leave that for a few minutes uh, and I'll come back and buff it off. There is no curing time with cherry glaze, so it can be left on there for two minutes, five minutes, ten minutes, as long as you want, essentially. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend leaving it on more than about 30 minutes, um, but should still be easy to remove because it is water-based. It doesn't dry, it doesn't go chalky, um, and you don't get a dust or a residue. It's also useful on different types of surfaces. So as I said um, in the video, you can use it on chromes, you can use it on plastics, paintwork, um, you can use it on these gloss black um, pillar trims as well. So you may find that you want to use a slightly different applicator for different surfaces. So for doing something like the plastics, I could use one of these, that'd be fine. If you're doing the gloss black trims, I might use a slightly softer foam applicator, uh, like that one. Or I might even use one of our microfiber applicators, um, which are the, the muscles. So obviously on most modern cars, the chrome trim isn't actually chrome, it's plastic. Um, but it will work just as well on actual chrome or plastic chrome anything that's got a, a nice shiny finish. So again, we're gonna use the abrasives that are within the cherry glaze to remove some of these water spots uh, and sort of markings on the front. Um, and then obviously the wax that's in there will leave a nice glossy finish as well. So again, similar thing, apply a little bit to our foam applicator. Now obviously we can't work in circular motions, so we're just gonna go backwards and forwards uh, and just polish it. We are gonna apply a little bit of pressure and then hopefully just to remove some of this uh, water spotting from this grill. A relatively straightforward process. And again, as you can see, it's starting to remove some of the dirt. So what we're going to do is we're going to use cherry glaze on these um, plastic trims. So the arch trims on minis are notorious for fading, um, for oxidising. Now cherry glaze, it will restore them to a degree. It's got a wax in that will leave a nice glossy finish. Um, however, for a more permanent solution, you would go with something like a bess for these trims. But what cherry glaze will do, because it is water-based, it won't leave any stains on these plastic trims. So you won't get any, any of the dust, any of the white sort of chalky residue you get from um, compounds when you get them on plastics. What it'll do is it'll actually clean the plastic, so it will remove some of this dirt and debris that's actually stuck in the texture. So again, similar to why you do with paintwork, you apply a little bit to uh, an applicator. So I'm going to use one of our round foam apps, and then I'm just going to work it into the plastic. Now straight away you can see the improvement in colour. I'm not going to do a massive section, so just so I can leave a noticeable section that you can see. Okay, so work it in circular motions, um, same as the paintwork. You want to make sure you work in circular motions just so you don't miss any. If you work in straight lines, sometimes you can miss bits. Okay, so hopefully you can see the improvement there. Now if you look at the applicator, you can see that is dirt and debris that was actually trapped within the texture of the plastic. The plastic has been cleaned, so it's actually not dirt that's on the surface, it's actually within the texture of the plastic itself. So that on its own, you probably get a couple of weeks worth of uh, restoration out of that type of product. Um, again, if you want it to be a longer term protection, you go with something like a bit on top of that, and that will restore them nicely. Okay guys, so with cherry glaze on plastics, um, once you've applied it to the plastic, you then leave that to soak in. There's no need to, to buff it to remove it. Unless you over apply the product, in which case you might want to remove any excess, but 
that will soak into the plastic and there shouldn't be any need for you to actually buff that with a towel. So let's go and remove the rest. To remove cherry glaze, um, you just want to use a nice plush buffing towel. So I've got one of our governor towels, you could easily use a mini reaper um, or any sort of general soft plush buffing towel that you, you may have. Now, removal with cherry glaze is going to be really easy. Uh, essentially, just buffs off really, really easy. If you have any issues removing it, chances are you've over applied the product. Um, cherry glaze should be really simple and straightforward. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, a car this size should be able to achieve a, a full coverage and removal in around about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, this cherry glaze now has been on here for approximately 10 minutes and it buffs off really, really easily. Um, straight across, no need uh, for a lot of pressure. Just buffs off really nicely. And then we go down to where we've done our section on the grill. And again, just a light buff across the chrome work at the front. And that's all there is to it. So, Cherry Glaze, a product that is suitable for a lot of different surfaces. Um, paintwork, chrome trims, plastics, you can use on alloy wheels. The only surface we wouldn't recommend using on is glass, and that's purely because it contains a wax. So if you use a wax on glass, it can leave some ears. Um, every other surface on the vehicle works fine. You can even use it on um, gloss black interior trims. So if you've got piano black on your dashboard, it's got a few swirls or a few light scratches in it, Cherry Glaze will probably do a pretty good job of restoring those as well. Um, Cherry Glaze, it's one of our most popular products. Um, everyone that's used it really loves Cherry Glaze, so if you've not tried it, give it a go. Uh, keep your eye out for our next product information video.